everyone and welcome to episode 4 of The Real Writer's Life, which is a vlogging series about my writing journey. And I'm very sorry about the noise. I finally figured out how to turn off the air conditioning stuff so I won't have that as an issue anymore in my videos. But of course, if it's not one thing, it's the other. There's laundry being done upstairs and people won't be too happy if I turn their laundry off. So I hope it's not too distracting. I'm sorry. Give me a break, okay? My brain's not even here right now. I was so tired that earlier when I took the footage from episode 3 because I'm filming this on the same day just like a couple hours apart to put it on my computer I accidentally took out my battery for my SLR and tried to put it in the SD slot of my computer so I'm just like not even here right now but I'm gonna try and record anyway because I'm filming this as a way of avoiding working on my query letter I wrote some notes I did it's almost like I prepared a little bit. So this episode of The Real Writer's Life is all about supporting authors and writers who are not yet published through encouragement and promotion, both of which I think are really important for anyone, regardless of whatever your field is, whether you're a writer, an artist, a mathematician. I'm just going to give you a little bit of personal background about me and why I think this is all so very important. Ever since I was really little, I was always very creative. I was into art and writing, costuming, basically all the hobbies that I have today. I had back when, and I just haven't changed at all. I've just added new hobbies to it. And and I have what a lot of people don't, and I'm very much aware of it. I have parents and family who support me 100%. They've always offered that moral support. No question, believe that I can do this. The thing is, and I realized this as I got older, it's very easy to support your child or your friend when you're in, say, grade school or high school, saying, you know what, you can be a famous writer, you can do this. It's very easy at that stage. When it gets hard, though, is when you get into your 20s and you're not seeing a financial payoff from that yet. It's already hard enough for the person who's trying to, like, achieve their dreams and it's not happening maybe the way you want it to or it's not happening as fast as you want it to but to not have a support system while you're going through that to have parents or family or friends who are just losing faith in you who just adds to the self-doubt and things that you already have so as someone who has had a lot of encouragement and support in just so many different ways I really want to give back and I think it's really important to offer encouragement to people and really build them up because so much of what goes on is about tearing people down and I don't like that this is not a competition you can promote other authors or not promote them all you want. It's not going to take away from whether people buy your book or not because you either like a book or you don't. It appeals to you or it doesn't. Sure, if it comes down to they have 20 bucks and they can only pick one book, fine. Yes, I guess it is a bit of competition, but there's nothing you can do about that. I love tons of different authors and tons of different books and I can't afford to buy all their books right now. I absolutely can't, no matter how much I love them. So how can you support your favorite authors and writers? It doesn't matter what degree of fame your favorite writers or authors have because even if someone's hugely successful, you telling them you like their stuff, they might be having a really bad day and they go on Twitter and they see someone who just loves their story, loves their characters and you know what? It helps them that day. A little bit of encouragement goes a long way. So if you like somebody's stuff, tell them. Maybe they won't see it, but the point is you you did it. You encouraged and that's good. It's so easy now to use social media to share your likes and your interests so if you like a book tell people about it share it online word of mouth goes a long way which I think a lot of people forget because oftentimes I'll pick up a book based on a recommendation someone I trust gives me a lot of books I've ended up reading recently have been books that I've seen reviewed on YouTube so if you're interested in reviewing books, that would really help authors out as well. Also, if there's certain booktubers that you like, again, share them on Twitter, leave them a comment, tell people about them. The ones I've been watching uh, the most recently are Jenna Moresi. I'll put like links below. She's the author of Eve the Awakening. I haven't read her work, so I can't like vouch for her book, but she does a lot of writing tips that I find very useful. There's also Jesse the Reader. He does book reviews. He also has done some author interviews. I started watching Lindsay Cummings. Congrats to her for reaching the New York Times number one bestseller, so woohoo, check out her channel. Oh, while I'm at it, I might as well recommend some authors that I've read recently. I'm just gonna mention a few, because I plan eventually to do a book about my favorite authors and my favorite books. There's Codename Verity, really good book. I don't normally read World War II books, but it's a beautiful friendship story. I love friendship stories, especially in young adult fiction. I don't think there's enough of it. Structurally, it's kind of weird the way it's written, but you get used to it as you go on. I also recently read The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry. If you're interested in seeing my review, check out my channel, Perry Shanna Swenson, who wrote Enchanted Incorporated, Catherine Valente, who wrote Deathless, and of course I always have to recommend the Jackie Faber series. I think it's called the Bloody Jack series officially, but I always just call it the Jackie Faber series by L.A. Meyer. And that's 
that's pretty much it. I'd like to give a special shout out to all my supporters on this channel. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I mean it when I say that, I really do. This is the thing a lot of people who know me personally know about me. I write for me. I don't really care what other people think. I like it if they like my work. I don't need that support to make it feel like my writing has value or worth. But as far as making it as a career, yes, I do need that support. Yes, I do need people to support me and to buy my book and to just, you know, pass on that they liked my book once it becomes published, of course. So I really, I appreciate people who support me, definitely. For anyone right now who doesn't have anyone who's backing you or supporting you, I'm saying it right now, I believe in you. You can do this, haul ass, get it done, put in the work and do whatever you do and do it well. I should probably stop avoiding my query letter now and write it. Um, but the reality is I'll probably just go edit these videos. So we'll see. Peace. Mm -hmm. Don't shut off on my camera. I'm not having it today. I'm not watching. Oh, I'm so tired. It's so easy now using social media to, I wish that stupid thing would shut up. Oh, please be quiet. Please be quiet. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> Is it done? That would be so great. I hate you.